95.3 WHRD. Good morning. It's Russ here with you on a rainy Wednesday morning in the UMRV. And I guess it can't look amazing all the time, can it? Guess it's better to get this rain today than on Friday because remember, Friday is opening day for the high school baseball season. And McGregor is heading over to Prairie du Chien to open up the season great rivalry to kick off the high school baseball season so get over there and show some support for both high schools now also when we're talking things going on around the area farmers don't forget to head over to the umrv livestock call this week in addition to the auctions all this week they also have outright sales going on every kind of livestock animal that you can imagine so this week over at the livestock call get on over there get your animals and get ready for the farming season. Now, getting back to the music on this rainy day, here's Charlotte to Cheyenne by Will Harrison, WHRD. Good morning. Uh, well, Russ is right. It's a miserable day. But fortunately, we are not going to slow down because of it. I do have a couple trucks out there. I do have a tractor out there that we need to look into and kind of see if they run. I'm not fully expecting them to run, but if they do, that would be a bonus. But since I'm not fully expecting anything to go right, we are probably going to have to go into town. And usually on a, on a sunny day, on a nice day, that would be a problem because we are it's taking away from the time that we can be in the field. But today... Since we don't really have any field work to do at all, um, we can try to set up this farm a little bit and kind of get our bearings here in town because I did hear that the livestock hall is having a lot of activity this week. So kind of want to get down there and introduce myself, kind of see the process take place. That way, when we're going down there for real, we'll at least have a little bit of footing. At least we'll know what to do. We won't be so shell-shocked and... It's going to be hard enough bidding on an auction that I've never been able to, you know, get into or never, never had a really desire to, to, to bid on a livestock auction. But here we are in the UMRV and since our livelihood relies on it, I think we're probably going to have to learn fairly quickly. Anyway, what a miserable day. I just I hope that this isn't a sign of things to come or a sign of any sort. I hope it's just we need some rain. Anyway, let me get inside real quick. I am going to put this coffee down and we will head out to the garage. All right, now the rain let up a little bit. As you can see, still very cloudy out today and it's not supposed to be a great day, but we're going to make our way through it. What we're going to do is head over to the barn over here and look at the truck first. Uh, it was actually a water truck that used to be used by my grandfather. And what we're going to do is see if we might be able to start this thing. So let's see. Open that up. And we'll just jump inside real quick. But there's the truck. Jump inside and see if this thing starts. And well, it started a little bit, but uh, it doesn't seem to want to start. All right, something's wrong with that truck. We'll figure it out. But it won't, obviously, it won't completely start. So we're going to have to look into that. But let's look over here at the other truck and tractor. And Honestly, these trucks can not start. That's fine. I mean, it, it would be preferable that they did. But really what I really want is just that tractor to work. Now, let's see here with this truck. And this is doing nothing. Not even turning over. Nothing. So, I think we're going to need a battery for that one. These things have been sitting out here for a while. So, that's really not surprising to me but now the big one let's see if this tractor works all right yes stay running 
It sounds good. And I'm really happy about that. Well, the tractor's in good form, and honestly, that's probably better than those two trucks being in good form financially and just conveniently because, you know, the convenience of finding somebody that is going to fix a truck, I think, is going to be... It's going to be a much easier time than finding somebody that will fix a tractor. As agriculturally driven this town is, I, I still think that's the truth. But either way, we are going to go inside. I got to go grab the keys and we'll take that rental down. Head down to town into McGregor and see if we can't fix these two trucks. I think a battery is what's going to be needed and... Uh, I'll ask him about some other stuff, but yeah, let me go inside, let me grab some keys, and then we will head down to town. Alright, so let me get these gates open. I do like that feature, as little of a feature as it is, I do like that the gates do close, keep people out of here. Not that anybody's really going to come in, but it's just... I used to live on a little side street in town, and I do like the, the privacy that the farm offers, that's for sure. But either way, we'll just leave them open, because we'll be right back. And we are going to head down to McGregor, and like I said, just getting a couple of things for this truck. These trucks, should I say. Two trucks. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the water truck. I, I think I'd like to keep the other truck. That's the one my grandpa used to drive quite a bit. But as for the water truck, I'm not sure because I think as much as we might need it, I could probably get a trailer for the volume that we're going to be working at here in the first year. And I might be able to use the money from the sale of the truck towards the farm, which I... I think would be great and I think would be a lot more use than just keeping the truck that, that's just what's on my mind right now I'm not really sure I think this is where I turn though so let's let's hope I made that turn right but I think it's down here and then I think there's a left and I will be on the road to McGregor but yeah, we're going to have to come back down here later anyway, so we'll get a lot of practice. I know that the livestock auction is today, and I do want to try to make that. Uh, it's later today. I think it's about 4 or 5 o'clock tonight, so it would be nice to get down there, introduce myself to some people, and just kind of see how it all works. That way, I'm not completely floored. That way, you know, I, I have a little bit of an idea of what I'm getting myself into, because... At the current point, I, I cannot understand the auctioneer. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know if I'm itching my ear or raising my arm. I don't know what to do. So I am just going to go down there, observe, and just kind of, you know, get a good feeling of, of how everything goes because I do want to be comfortable and I don't want to be nervous or anything when I'm making such a huge financial decisions so what I want to do is get comfortable by watching other people who do this all the time interact with one another and, and maybe introduce myself a little bit maybe to the auctioneer as well maybe to other farmers just to let them know I'm in the community or just maybe I'll do the opposite of that and just sit back and and try to see what everything see who knows who and see how everything works how's that but we have finally made it to McGregor, and I am going to pick this up when we get down here to the store. Because, hey, why not? Let's stop at another runway. All right, now down here at the farm store, and we are just going to pull in here and talk to him about the two trucks, and hopefully they have something here in stock. I feel like this is the first of many stops down here at the store, but we'll turn that off and... Also, our lights. Don't want to flash the high beams in there. Not this early in the morning. Anyway, let's get in there and let's talk to him. See if we can figure this out. Good morning. How can I help you? 
Hey there. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I need to get a couple trucks running up at my farm. Uh, I need to get a battery and a couple other things for them. All right, I can help you out there. Never seen you around here before. Where's the farm at? Yeah, I actually just moved here. The farm's just outside of McGregor on the east side up there by the church. Right, right. I know where you're at. You have any plans for uh, any animals up there? Actually, yeah, I was going to get some dairy cows here eventually, but... I still got a lot to learn, so might take the first year off and then just get everything ready as far as equipment and feed and money. No, I think that's a good idea. Anyway, yeah, let's talk about the trucks of yours. All right, so I have to... After just a few days in town, I felt like this was the right decision. Losing my job at Peterson's actually turned out to be the best thing that had happened to me in a while. Sure. The money was no longer coming in like it used to, but my old job had paid me enough to actually save up some money to start this farm. I wasn't by any means loaded, but I had a few bucks to spend and I knew that some of it would have to go to cows and equipment. I also knew that in order to survive the expensive lifestyle of starting a farm, I was going to need to get a job. Cow feed wasn't cheap, neither is gas, fencing, repairs, transportation. Anyway, I got a few things for the truck, and I bought a power washer as well. Not like I'm going to need it in this weather, but the first job I was going to have is getting the trucks running. Then I wanted to head down to the auction. I'm not 100% sold on dairy cows, but this is what the farm was before, so I felt like I should try to restore it back to that. Anyways, we're here, so let's get started. All right, so we are just now getting done with the truck, and you can see it has now started to rain again. It's just a cruddy day all, all over the place today, but fortunately for us, we do have some good news, and that is that the truck is working, and the wipers are working a little extra at the moment. But uh, I want to drive this over to the garage and I want to put some brakes on it. I got some brakes, so I want to put some brakes on it. So I'm going to put it over here in the garage so that I can do the work over here. I also have the other truck uh, all figured out and ready to go. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that truck. But this truck uh, used to be my grandfather. So I want to make sure that this one is the one that I drive around town and, and kind of have as a vehicle. Speaking of which, we got to get the rental back, so it's working right on time, but let me run over here. Rain is cold. And now we got this truck over here again. I think I'm probably going to put a for sale sign on it, but let's see. We got... And there we go. I was a little worried there for a minute, but yeah, we got it going. And we are just going to leave this here but uh, right now. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put a for sale sign on this one. I think I'm probably going to use a trailer to haul water. And Yeah, we might do some dairy cows, but that's not for a while. So I think we're going to cross that bridge when we get to it. Either way, let's go in. I got to go in the house, which is why I'm stalling a little bit right now. I do not want to get wet, but whatever. Let's run over to the house, get some paperwork, get a pen, and then we can head down to the auction. All right, let me get in here real quick. All right, now we've got everything that we need, and I did take a minute while I was inside to call the rental company and tell them that I will be dropping this off tomorrow. So this will probably be the last time that we end up driving this on film but this has been a good car it's gotten us from a to b but at the end of the day it's going to be really good to get rid of this car because it's just a remembrance of the airport and it's just it's one thing that we have to get rid of so that we can kind of permanently plant our feet here in the umrv but either way this auction is going to be very nerving nerve-wracking for me because I'm not really sure what to expect. I know that the farming communities out here really are tight knit, so I'm probably gonna get some inquisitive looks when I walk in there, but that'll be all right because 
when I come around more often, people are going to see that and they're going to get familiar with me. So I'm not really worried about that. But I did want to take the time when we were driving down here to kind of give you the farm plan here this year. Uh, I, I do want to plant some grass in that field. I do want to make some silage and some hay. And I want to get that started before we get any cows. Only because I don't have a ton of money to buy a lot of different things. So we're going to kind of be bare bones here in the beginning. But I do want to buy some equipment. Maybe we can sell some hay this summer. And maybe we can get some cows towards the end of the year or maybe next year. But, you know, I, I do want to get some feed and some things first before we get the animals I think that's probably the correct order and as far as my finances go I think the equipment the things that we're gonna have to buy that's going to be expensive too so I do want to look into maybe getting a job or maybe seeing what kind of services I can offer out here to sell some people but to be honest with you I'm really not sure what that is does he, does he think we got we're gonna go all right there we go so I, I don't know really what that is, but I do know that I've got to make some side money here because this is going to be a very expensive venture. The equipment out here is very expensive. I don't know a place out here to lease or borrow any equipment, so it's all going to be on me and my wallet and hopefully and maybe a bank loan, but I want to stay away from that as, as much as I can. We've got some money, but we don't have a lot, and I've still got to eat, so I have to think about that as well. Either way, I'm going to put this down for now, and I am going to hit this auction up. It's a couple of minutes down the road here, so I'm going to get ready, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you next time I turn this thing on.